All right, so today we're in Poland and we're gonna be looking for snails here. I remember this is the first place I found all these cool snails when I was a kid, 10, 13 years ago, whatever. Um, all the cool species are here, like Helix pomatia, Sapiani moralis, Arianta arbustorum, and I thought that uh, Helix aspersa was here too, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, hasn't been raining, it's kind of dry, but I'll always find something. Um, so if we start taking a look around here, in this tree, there's some Sapia nemoralis, and there's always a bunch of cool color forms here. Um, here's this dark banded one. Here is this orange with a single black band. And go down a little bit here. There's some Helix Pomatia on this tree here. There's one. And there's another one. Um, and so we're going to try and find some fallen logs. There's another one because most of them are going to be around these fallen logs. Alright, so there's another one. Um, I guess what I will do is just sort of walk through and collect some one by one. There's one on the branch. Kind of reminds me of Florida, walking through and collecting snails off the trees, although I didn't think I would need to be doing that, because I never remember them being in the trees. Because usually what I do is I wait until it rains, but... I didn't really feel like waiting for that all week, so I went out to s collect snails now because I'm always bound to find something because I know where to look. There's another Helix Pomatia and there's another one. And then there's a Sapia Nemoralis here. It's got nice, dark, heavy banding. Um, I'm kind of just picking up whatever I find because I want to see how many different color morphs of these Sapia we can find here in Poland. Alright, so if we take a look in this area, there's a Helix Pomatia here, and then one down there, Sapia Nemoralis, and there's a big Helix Pomatia on the side of this tree trunk here, um, and there are a bunch of Sapia on this tree. There's one there, almost out of reach, and then there's another form here, uh, and then there's one somewhere down here. Oh, right there. And another Helix Pomatia over there. They told me, I don't know who, I think somebody maybe on Facebook, or I watched a video or something, and they said that Helix Pomatia is rare because people use them as food, and so they exported them, and then I'd have a hard time finding them, and if I waited until it rained, then there would be more, but honestly... For one thing, I don't need to collect them. There's one. There's another one because they're in the USA, very close to my house. There's two of them mating right there. So honestly, I have more Helix Pomatia than I know what to do with. There's another one. Um, but honestly, I don't even need to wait until it rains or anything. It's easy enough to find them if you know where to look. And I thought there would be more logs here in the woods, but there isn't. I don't know why, but I know as soon as we find a log, there's going to be a ton of them, and there's going to be the Arianta arbustorum, hopefully, because that's the one I've been really wanting to see, because the Helix and the Sapia, you can find them in the United States easily enough. All right, check that out. There's a tiny one, Helix pomatia here. You go further up the tree, there's a Sapia nemoralis. These were the ones I wanted to find, these orangish ones with the black bands down the shell because for some reason the only stuff I could find in the USA was the plain yellow ones and plain orange ones and luckily enough the ones here they're all heavily banded. All right, this tree is full of them. They got nice banding patterns. Look at that. I should probably switch it to macro mode. There's one down there. There's one here. It's got a nice pinkish tint to the shell. There's another one here. Another one here. Another one here. Oh, man. Look here. 
It's like, it's just like Florida. I'm gonna go there in July and collect some. Shit, that was good color, pink. Um, I found I have to be careful when I say that I'm gonna be collecting tree snails because I think people automatically assume it's ligueous. And I said that on a forum once and people started getting scared and telling me, oh no, you can't do that because it's prohibited or whatever, so I had to explain I'm looking for Orthalicus and Drymaeus, not Ligueus. I mean, I look for those too. I take pictures and videos, but I don't collect them. So, anyways, we walked through this whole thing. There's no logs. I'm going to have to go right back to the entrance because I saw logs there and there's bound to be stuff here. But before we do that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. My hand is still full of snails. Um, Sipiani Morales. Sapiani Morales. Uh, there's one up there, but I'm not gonna bother with it. All right, so check this out. This is a good spot for Helix Pomatia. There's one. If we go further in here, there's bound to be some. Well, of course, because I just saw them a few minutes ago, which is why I turned on the camera. There's one, there's another one. And these have nice dark shells. And there was one here that's got a stripe on its shell, which I don't see too often. Um, there's one. Uh, there's some down here, of course. There's one, there's another one. Uh, where the hell did that striped one go? Um, there's some on the trees here. Uh, there's a couple over there hanging from the trees. There's another one. Um, I'm going to have to look around. Where the hell was that one with the stripe? Um, but now I see that Helix Pomatia does climb trees and it does estivate on the tree trunks. So when I was in Wisconsin, I said, I don't know why they're in the trees. This is crazy. Uh, I guess my memory was just not good because obviously they are in the trees. There's another nice Sipiani Morales. Lots of colors. Well, I mean, lots of bands on it. Um, I'm gonna have to turn off the camera because I don't know what the heck happened. There's a young Sipiani Morales. There's another uh, darker colored one because I don't know where the one with that bands is. All right, there it is. Check that out. It's got those dark bands on it, almost like a Helix Lucorum. Um, there's a nice variation of them here too because some of them are white bodied, some of them are dark bodied, so I'm going to collect a couple of them, put them on the grass here or something and wait for them to come out of their shells and sort of uh, record a little video about what kind of color morphs they come in here. Alright, so we're back at the entrance of the woods here. I went all that way for nothing because here's some logs and check that out. All of these slugs, I think. These might be Aryan slugs. There's one. There's a leopard slug. This would be quite a find if I was into slugs, but I'm not really that into slugs. There's another one here. I found about 20 of them in this area. So I'm glad I found it because mostly in the flower gardens and stuff people had. Um, there's just Helix Pomatia and Sapia Nemoralis. Um, but these are the ones I was looking for. Um, I would try to flip this log, but it's kind of too heavy. So I might look underneath the cracks here. There might be some more of those Arianta. There's a big fat red slug. Um, Maybe I'll sort of dig around in these bushes here, because there's one, awesome. And I, uh, what's the, what's the common name of these? I think they're called Copes snails. I remember somebody on a forum wrote uh, Corpse snails, and that would be a cool name, but I guess it's not actually technically their name. Um, this should be on macro, I don't know why it's kind of blurry, but uh, there they are. Um, so we found Sapiani Morales, we found Ariana Arbustorum, Helix Pomatia. Um, that's sort of everything I found in this area. We're going to have to go to the woods and some other places to find uh, some other things I'm after, like Sapia uh, Vindabinensis. That's a cool one. And then also, I thought Helix Aspersa 
was somewhere here, but maybe not. Maybe, I mean, that was 13 years ago. Maybe I confused these with Helix Aspersa because they have kind of a similar color morphology on their shell. Um, so I'm just going to keep looking around this area. If I find anything cool, I'll probably turn on the camera again. If not, I'm probably just going to go home because I've sort of seen everything I wanted to in this area. All right, so there's another Arianta Arbustorum. Dropped it. Uh, I don't know why. They're all kind of by this path here. So I bet if I just... There's a lot of uh, mucus here. So there were snails here this morning. So if I just dig around the grass, there's going to be some. Uh, it's a peony moralis. It's a tan color. That's kind of unique. That's cool. Um... Oh yeah, there's one. Look at that. I don't know why they're all here on the outskirts of this wooded area. Like, I looked in the woods, there aren't any. I looked on the outskirts of the woods, there's plenty. And then you go to people's gardens in front of their house, and there's only Sapieni Morales and Helix Pomatia. There's another one of those red slugs. Um, I think I read that, like, tall, grassy areas are the best places to find these Arianta, though. So... I've already collected a number of them. Um, I thought maybe I'll just look for one more to maybe just finish off this video and then we'll go home. Um, where could they be? Uh, I don't know, but whatever. There's, you know, two of them in a Sapienti Moralis, so... Probably gonna cut the video off and go home.